I asked a player once why sometimes they wait, and I got two answers. One was game situation, and two was I wanted to be in his head for a little bit, which I think is a bitch move. Dude, just get it over with. Reese Hoskins against the world of Mets discussion, or is it the world of Mets? So Jeff McNeil gets spiked a little bit on the slide, not happy about it. Team comes to his defense eventually, and Reese Hoskins makes them pay later on. He gets hit by a pitch, or not, sorry. He gets, uh, he watches a pitch go eight feet behind him. Um, that player, Jan Ramirez, is suspended, so is Carlos Mendoza, and here we go. Mendy, Mendy, we asked him when he was on here, are you going to get thrown out before Booney gets thrown out? Well, technically, I guess he didn't get thrown out, but he's missed a game already, so he's he's hot on the trail. I, I feel like it's a, I don't know, I feel like McNeil kind of overreacted here. I feel like... Yes, you know, I understand he doesn't want to get cleated in the top of his cleat, like, and he doesn't think he should slide through the bag like that, but I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. And then the whole, like, I mean, he was pissed right out of the gate. Like, there was no, like, he's the dirtiest player. They have video of him being this player all the time. I think Reese handled it well. I don't think Reese was like, oh, hold me back, hold me back. He's like, what are you even talking about? So I, I don't know. I feel like this was blown out of proportion by McNeil. I don't see anybody else getting pissed, that's for sure. I, I think Hoskins didn't do anything wrong. I think the, the rule is the rule. He went right into the base. He went a little past the base. Whatever McNeil was looking like he was going to throw the ball. I mean, right there, look, he's trying to throw the ball, and he loses it on a transfer. So if you're Reese, what are you supposed to do? You got spikes, so what? It's big leagues. I mean, I'm tired of us like, oh, no, no nobody touch anybody. And, and McNeil, listen, I mean, they were, they were getting their butts kicked again. And the biggest problem I have with this is the way the Mets handled it. You let him go three for three with four RBIs and a dinger, and you throw one at his head? Like, that's piss poor for me because you just don't do it like that. You got a problem with what he did the day before? Throw at him the next at bat. Listen, I had this happen to me. When I was with the White Sox, I did kind of the same thing. Back when you could actually take a guy out, Ben Zobras went all whiny baby too and like this. And, and then the next game, we played, we finished the game. They didn't throw at me. The next day I played, they didn't throw at me. Then they waited a whole other day and they threw at me like my third at bat the next day, whatever. I'm like, and then, you know, and then we threw back at them because Robin Ventura was pissed that they threw at me two days later. And, and that was the famous Hawk Harrelson, Wegner, what are you doing? Well, you know, you are crazy, whatever, because I think Jose Quintana threw behind somebody and, and, you know, the Rays got all up in arms. But I'm like, you know, if you're going to do it, just do it the next at bat. Like, why wait? There's no reason to wait. You're pissed at a guy? Drill him. All right, boom, we're finished. Austin's been like, okay, we're done. But, I mean, McNeil getting in his face. I mean, plus, you know what? The Mets were getting their butts kicked, so they were just frustrated. You know what? Don't get your butts kicked. I asked a player once why sometimes they wait, and I got two answers. One was game situation, and two was I wanted to be in his head for a little bit, which I think is a bitch move. Dude, just get it over with. I mean, I, I don't, I don't just get it over with. Wait, what, why wait? What you think I was sitting around going, Oh, when are they going to hit me? I'm like, okay, it's over with. Great. Moved on. And my next to back came by. I'm like, okay, race is the same way. He's like, all right, I'm three for three with a dinger and four RBIs. I mean, it doesn't get, come on. It doesn't get in your head. The, the, the game is not a game of intimidation. The game is a man's game that is played hard. So you're not sitting there going, oh, is he going to hit me? Is, is he going to, you could, you could play that game in your head all the time. Like to me, you go exactly what AJ said. You go, you get, you take care of business. To me, though, if if I'm sitting on the Mets, I'm like, we don't we don't need to throw at him. I, I don't feel like he really did anything. Unless Jeff is like super pissed about it and he comes in, why is nobody protecting our players? Then, hey, you know what? Then I'm all for it. What, whatever it is, you got to own up to it. You can't be like, oh, it slipped or, oh, we did it too late or we did. Own up to it. It is what it is. Uh, I mean, these quotes are great. McNeil's mad because he got <laughs> spiked. Get out of the way. I mean, imagine if he was McNeil was playing back in like the 1970s when Hal McCray used to tackle dudes. I mean, remember what was it? Victorino tackled the guy that one time in, oh. in Milwaukee, right? I mean, but Reese's was quote. Reese, I mean, what Reese did. Now they have a celebration. Now the Brewers have a celebration, so they can thank Jeff McNeil because they're all going doing the crybaby thing. So they have a great. Now they have a great celebration. Right out of the gate. Right out of the gate.
You're right. And they handed it to him too. It's a good call. The Brewers starting rotation had a sub two and a half ERA starting with Freddie P friend of the show. Uh, Adam Jones, by the way, with the tweet, we showed it, but I'll read it for the podcast. As someone who thrived on these situations because I want extra outs for my team, this is clean. I would have folded his ass to left field. Infielders got to get out of the way. We can break them up, not dirty. But they don't they don't have to anymore because of the new rules. They take a catcher, so we, we can't run over the catcher because one guy got hurt. I mean, there was plenty of guys that got hurt over the course of years. And then, oh. oh, no. One guy, Buster Posey, because he was the face of baseball, gets hurt, and he complains, and they change rules. Like, I mean, I thought that was awful. I used to love those plays. And then Chase Utley, I mean, listen, what Chase Utley did was – it was bad. He broke the guy's leg. I get it. But in the heat of the – listen, as a base runner, you are told, I am – go get that guy. Do not let that guy turn a double play. So, you – I mean, there was times – I when I listen, I hate to go, like, you know, when I played, but listen, when I first came up, the dudes got out of the way. Like if you got if I got hit by a pitch, and I was pissed, guess who I go after? That guy at second base, and I look at him and be like, guys would be like, I'm coming for you. And guys knew they were like, jump, get out. They like they knew how to throw and jump and all the accurate. Now yep. you see Ozzy Smith jumping like three feet in the earth over guys sliding. They don't do. They just catch it because they're not expecting it. So it's just a different era. And I don't know, whatever. I mean, the rules are the rules, and I, I don't know. It's not a contact sport. <laughs> well, Rob Manfred and his rules committee has made that very clear. <laughs> there you go. What about the Rays and the Jays? A little benches clearing action. And Jose Caballero pulls off a nice little bunt that leads to a run. He actually gets out, gets uh, tagged out at third by a mile. Um, but he pissed off Genesis Cabrera. I don't have a problem with what he did either. I don't know why Cabrera got so mad. I mean, he was out. He kind of lost his balance. And he just kind of, you know, I don't know, ran into him a little bit. I don't know. And then Cabrera got real. Now, listen, I don't know if there was history there. I don't know if they – because he because he did say – Caviar did say something. I don't know what he said. But then Cabrera immediately shoved him. So, I don't know what was said there. So, I mean, again, unless you know what was said, it's hard to – like right here, okay, you know, Cabrera's real close right there. He Like, and then blah, blah, blah. And, then, you know, Cabrera literally – Right away. So I don't know. There was no history. They asked him afterward. It well, everyone like says there's no history. You're saying he's lying? Like, no, I'm not saying anyone. I'm not calling anybody a liar. I'm just saying, of course, they're not going to say, yeah, we had an issue back somewhere. Still my girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, wait, I have one question here, right here. Can't Caballero move, though? If you want to really diffuse yes. the situation, he, he, yes. his lips are an inch away from Cabrera. So I actually haven't heard this much, but I'm looking at it at the time, and I'm like, I get it. Cabrera shouldn't have shoved you. But you're this close. You're asking for, you know, like when someone's like going up to someone and they put their fucking face in someone else's face. Like, are you trying to get punched? Because if you don't want to be in a situation, that's when you would walk away, which is what Reese Hoskins did in a much steamier situation. 100%. Caballero, he he brought that on himself. I, I, I think he's lucky he only pushed him. Like, to me, you might, that dude might throw a punch. Cabrera might throw a punch right there. He got closer to him. Yeah, he might not have liked it because he was not ex- – like the pitcher was still standing in the way after he kind of ran through the base. Maybe he's expecting Caballero to to slide and not run through the base in that situation. But, like, he stepped back in his face. You got to push somebody out of the way if they're if they're getting in your face like that. Like, that to me, that, that whole situation is on Caballero. And that's actually a take I haven't seen very often. Most of the takes are just like, oh, you know, Cabrera shouldn't be shoving him. Come on. Cabrera, why I mean, Why was he so close to the base is my first question. And second of all, like, I know Caballero bumped him, but, like, yeah, Caballero could have walked away. But, again, we don't know what was said. We don't know. Yeah. So, I mean, there, we, we just don't know. So, I mean, to put it on one guy or the other is, is tough. You know, like the Hoskins things, I understand why Neil's mad. I understand why Hoskins is mad. This one is like we don't know what was said, we don't know who said what. So it's kind of like, all right, well, they it's you know, it's boys being boys. Like nobody threw a punch. Nothing really happened. I mean, listen, it's great for baseball. We're we're four games in for a lot of these teams. We've had like four fights already. I mean, four shoving matches. I shouldn't call them fights, but four bench clearing brawls or whatever it is, or bench clears. And it's listen, it's exciting and people it shows you care and people like to see this stuff. Cabrera was pissed that he bunted. Maybe. 
or just frustrated at the play. My only thing is, if you're going to put your face right in someone else's face and then go, mm-hmm. oh, 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 that's an instigator for me. I see it in basketball all the time, too. You know, go in someone's face and then someone shoves them away and they're like, oh, and then they flop. It's like, enough. Hey, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We're back here every weekday, all year long, so do not miss an episode. The videos are coming in all day. Here's another video you might enjoy. Baseball, the way it should be covered.